My name is Sharon Manning. I am a wife, a mother, a grandmother. I'm an entrepreneur, I have a salon. I'm a stylist, I'm a singer, and I'm an intercessor. I say all those things to say that I have to be saltified in every area of my life because every area of my life is so important. What I know about being saltified is that you have to know who you are. You have to know that you are the beloved of Christ. You have to know that who you are and what you carry is so valuable because everywhere you go, you carry his presence. To be saltified to me is to come into an atmosphere and know that love walks with you. When you leave a place, when you enter, there should be a presence, there should be a change in the atmosphere. When you leave, it should be better than it was when you got there. I think being saltified is wherever you find yourself, leave residues of love and peace and, and joy and actually the anointing because we all carry an anointing if you love the lord if you you walk for him you talk for him you live for him there is an anointing that you carry and that anointing is powerful the anointing is so powerful it can change it changes wherever you find yourself so to me being saltified is making wherever you go better than it was when you arrived if that makes sense. I just, um, I just think love is being saltified. I think walking in love is being saltified and making sure that the people that you come in contact with, that they, you build them up. Being saltified is building someone up. When you add salt to anything, if you don't over saltify, when you add the salt, it makes things better. So being a saltified person to me, is making things better. If you're there, things should be better because you leave a residue of love, peace, and joy. And that's what saltified means to me. And as an MIT student, I would like to share this scripture, Romans 10 and 15. The word says, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring good tidings and good things.